Vertigo is a feeling of dizziness that occurs without any accompanying movement. It's caused by your senses telling your brain that your body is off balance, even though it isn't. Vertigo is a symptom of an underlying condition, not a diagnosis in itself. It can be a result of several different things. Some types of vertigo will only happen once, and some types will continue to recur until the underlying condition is found. One of the most common types of vertigo is called BPPV. These initials stand for Benign Positional Paroxysmal Vertigo BPPV. BPPV is caused by deposits that build up in your inner ear, which navigates your sense of balance. Vestibular neuritis, stroke, head or neck injuries, and many airs disease are all other conditions that can cause vertigo. Many natural remedies can help in reducing the severity of vertigo attacks. Although underrated, this list of natural remedies can help you in avoiding or managing episodes of vertigo. 1. Stay properly hydrated. One of the initial symptoms of dehydration is dizziness. Thus, one of the fastest solutions for dizziness is drinking more water. It's inexpensive, and there are no adverse side effects, except maybe needing to use the bathroom a little more frequently. It is particularly essential to increase your water intake if you live in a dry and scorching environment where you may need more than the usual 8-ounce cups of water each day. Try using one of the various apps that can assist you in tracking how much water you consume and see if this provides some relief. This is one of the most excellent natural remedies for vertigo. 2. Don't skip meals. If your blood sugar drops, which can happen if you go too long without taking food, dizziness can be one of the signs you experience. If you eat three meals per day and still have your blood sugar drop very low on occasion, you should need to change your meal patterns to eat six smaller meals each day. This regular eating schedule can keep your blood sugars in check. 3. Take your time standing up and sitting. When you stand up from a seated position or sit up from a prone position, your body should naturally accommodate your blood pressure to account for the effect that gravity has on blood flow in your body. If you quickly start receiving less blood to your head, dizziness can develop. At times, the body doesn't react to the changes in position in time if we move too suddenly. For instance, if you wake up in the morning and suddenly spring to your feet, you may notice that you are dizzy for a few moments until your blood pressure can move in on. Try getting up a little steadily and see if that helps reduce how frequently dizziness occurs. 4. Relax. Anxiety and stress can bring on attacks of dizziness, so it is essential to be able to relax and kick back frequently, particularly if you are handling a lot of stress at the workplace or from other places. Something as easy as a relaxing massage from a dear one regularly may be able to help you tackle stress hormones under control and may reduce how often you get dizzy. Other helpful ways include reading a good book, meditation, taking a hot bath, or enjoying a great meal with family or friends. Find what helps you to rewind. 5. Turn the hot water down. Your blood vessels broaden when you take a hot shower. That can lead to a sudden fall in blood pressure. As we discussed earlier, low blood pressure can lead to a sudden surge of dizziness. So if you find you get dizzy while taking a bath or just after you get out of the shower, this may be the problem. Try taking cooler showers and see if that stops your dizziness from occurring. 6. Try herbs. Several herbs can provide anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and other benefits that can ameliorate the symptoms of vertigo. Among them include cayenne, turmeric, ginger root, and ginkgo biloba. Just remember to always talk to your medical practitioner before incorporating new supplements or herbs into your routine. 7. Exercise consistently. Research groups found a home-based exercise program was more effective than medication for some patients with chronic vertigo. The level and type of exercise recommended depends on various factors, including how strong you are, what you'll stick with persistently, and what you can do to reduce dizziness and other possible symptoms safely. That might mean brisk walking, an elliptical machine, or weight resistance. Yoga is a great exercise to improve blood flow, strengthen balance, and positively affect your SNS, sympathetic nervous system. Some poses can be challenging for people with vertigo, so inform your yoga instructor if you have vertigo or other medical conditions. 8. Eat antioxidant and anti-inflammatory rich foods. Inflammatory mediators and oxidative stress can lead to vertigo. One study found people with BPPV had low levels of antioxidants. 
Strengthen with non-starchy vegetables and antioxidant-rich foods like berries along with anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acid-rich foods, including flaxseed, walnuts, wild-caught seafood, and chia seeds. 9. Eating less sodium. Follow this, especially if you experience pressure or a feeling of fullness in one or both of your ears. Vertigo can be a sign that you have an excessive amount of fluid in your inner ear. Salt can boost water retention in your body. Consume less sodium to avoid this. 10. Doing head rotations. Besides, exercising your neck, doing head rotation allows you to balance or reset the elements inside your ears that help with your balance. This is like rebooting your computer when it is acting up. If you found any of it useful, then hit that like button, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe.